Scott, buddy, what's up? What are we doing today? Okay, I got your tongue? What are we doing today? Why won't you talk to me? Are you mad at me? Scott! Scott! Hey! Did you think that was me? Yes. Well, you know, you both have similar jaw lines and the build and you're both kind of Scooter, ugly. I have arms and a lower torso and you were going to slap me? Well, you weren't talking to me. You hurt my feelings. Scott, come on, come back. Man. Hey, man. Wait, dang it. Hey. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and not too long ago I introduced this behemoth of a rifle. This is my bolt action 700 BMG and I asked you to leave in the comments section what you would like to see me shoot with it first and of course the number one response was zombie torsos. So today we have just that. This is a ballistic dummy lab zombie torso. It has lifelike organs and bones and it's been zombified with green blood. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently today though. Instead of just blasting this dude, I wanna see just how powerful the 700 BMG is. So I'm gonna give him a fighting chance. I'm gonna give him some barriers, maybe some body armor, and then at the end of the video, we will just full blown blast him. So at some point, somebody decided that they loved 50 BMG and 700 Nitro so much that they would combine the two. Just for reference, this is a 50 BMG. That is a 660 grain full metal jacket. And this is a 700 Nitro Express. That is a 70 caliber, 1000 grain bullet. And it's one of the largest elephant rifles in the world. When you put these two together, you get the best of both worlds, the 700 BMG. This is a 50 BMG case with a 70 caliber, 1000 grain bullet. You have the case capacity of a 50 BMG, but with a much larger bullet and it's packing a lot of power. And I am very excited today to see just how powerful it is. All right, our first test is a simple one, a cinder block wall. Would that be enough to protect you from a 700 BMG? So it's a little cold today and I have shot absolutely nothing. So first shot of the day, 700 BMG. I'm sure it's gonna wake me up. So right, here we go. Oh. 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 Yep, that'll wake you up. Forget the coffee or anything like that. Just get a 700 BMG and take a shot. You'll be ready for the day. <laughs> um, I don't think that a cinder block wall, at least without all of the rebar and whatnot, uh, is going to help you much if somebody has a 700 BMG. This is pretty bad. You got to hit right here. And if you move around the back here, you can see uh, that we just, uh, we, blew, we blew right through him. All right, let's wash this guy off here. He's a little dirty after that. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, I was gonna put him behind a car next, but if it's gonna blow through cinder blocks like that, I know that we're gonna blow through the car and probably do more damage to him so I think I'm still going to do the car, but I'm going to help him out a little bit.
mug. Don't like the cold weather. So I just push it over here. Okay, so we're gonna set up the zombie on the other side of the beetle bug, but I think I'm gonna give him a little bit of body armor. This is Premier Body Armor, and this is a level four ceramic plate. Okay. So the zombie is hiding behind a car and I've given him body armor, but I'm gonna give him one more advantage. Instead of using a full metal jacket, I have a 1000 grain soft point. Oh, I don't know who this is gonna hurt more, me or the zombie. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna say that probably hurt the zombie more. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Let's go check it out. The driver, ooh, you can smell it. There's a certain smell to a car when it gets shot and I'm smelling it. Look at this blowout right here. What are these like curly cues sticking out? Flew through there, oh, that is a big hole through that other door. <laughs> All right, and unfortunately, it looks like I blew out my glass. The window was up though, but we have a huge exit hole, and I guess just the sheer force blew the glass out. And then now we have Mr. Zombie here, and it does appear that we hit the body armor. It looks like I just kind of nicked it. I hit up here on the top edge, but Still did the trick. It stopped him from getting a full blown hole through him. But if you look right here, you can see he is all tore up. I think that he would have survived that, but you would definitely have some broken ribs and a face full of glass. Okay, we have used cinder blocks. We have used a Volkswagen Beetle. And now we're gonna do the exact same test again minus the Volkswagen Beetle. I have the body armor strapped to Mr. Zombie again, but this time we are gonna use a full metal jacket. Hey, I am filming. That was a close one. There's about to be poop on everything. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be pretty gnarly. Here we go. This uh, gun keeps catching in my pocket. I try to take it down after I shoot and I, I can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's go check that out. Okie dokie. He's got a little bit of a lean to him now. He seems kind of relaxed. I'd be pretty relaxed too if I just took that hit. Oh, this is, this is not good. Um, Okay, I'm not going to take this off yet. I want, I want you to see this. So here's where we hit. And oh, it looks like we may have almost completely made it through the level four plate. Um, we definitely did a lot of damage to Mr. Zombie here. Um, yeah. Whew. Well, I mean, that looks like that hole goes all the way through. I mean, it, it does. I mean, you can see right through it. We may have blown completely through him also. Well, 
it did. It blew completely through the plate and through the zombie torso. We had only damaged the top corner of that plate. I hit in a completely fresh spot. We blew through it and blew through the zombie torso. I am very impressed right now. I mean, that's like 416 Rigby kind of stuff, but with a much bigger bullet. Now that we know that there's not much that can protect you from a 700 BMG, let's just hit this guy with a 1,000 grain soft point. Let's finish this guy off. There we go. Oh, oh, man. I wanted to take one more shot, but we folded him. falling apart we broke him in half look at this oh you know this much damage here is almost as much as if he was hit with a 40 smith and wesson okie dokie i went ahead and moved that table around and uh we're gonna go ahead and eliminate the top portion of the zombie now uh, all right here we go did I think that will do it <laughs> well that's gonna be it for today's test we learned that 700 BMG is extremely powerful what other ridiculous calibers would you like to see me do the same test with let me know in the comment section down below <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Kentucky Ballistics Breakdowns, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. <laughs> And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. I've always wanted to do that.